I'm Dr. Michelle Hernandez. I'm an Associate Professor of Pediatrics at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I'd like to talk to you today about penicillin allergy. So about 90% of individuals who have a penicillin allergy don't have a penicillin allergy any longer. And so this is where penicillin skin testing and evaluation by an allergist can be really helpful. So penicillins are a class of antibiotics that are used for many common conditions, including strep throat. A lot of people, especially in childhood, can have reactions to different antibiotics that may not necessarily have been a classic allergic reaction that would be life-threatening. So in place of using anti penicillin antibiotics in people that they think are allergic, they use a wide variety of other antibiotics. And the problem with this can be that not only can they be very expensive, but they can also promote the development of bacteria that are resistant to many different kinds of antibiotics. So this is where penicillin skin testing can be really helpful. After discussion of the history of symptoms that you had associated with taking a penicillin kind of antibiotic, an allergist can then do skin testing. And what this first involves is a scratch test where they scratch your skin with some components of the penicillin antibiotic, and they can determine if a little reaction occurred. And if nothing happened at that point, they can then put small needles under the skin called intradermal testing to see if you have a reaction at that point. And if not, it is unlikely that you have a penicillin allergy. However, what most allergists will do is an oral challenge well, you will get a dose of penicillin in the office to see if a patient develops a reaction. If they don't, they do not have a penicillin allergy and can be cleared to take many different kinds of penicillin antibiotics. If you have any questions, please contact your local allergist or please see our website. Thank you.